What is going on folks? Welcome to the Fishing with Norm, a YouTube channel. Comment of the day is popping up down below. If you guys want to be in next video's comment of the day, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video if you're a chance to be in next video's comment of the day. But guys, today we are fishing with some crazy lures. Actually, one of my subscribers, one of the members of the Narmi gave to me. Shout out to Caleb. Thank you for showing me these. I had no clue they existed and I want to show them to you guys because these things are absolutely insane. So here they are, the cream flip-flop. At first look, these just look like a regular pack of worms but look at this. When you take it out of the package, this is what you get. Look at this thing, it has like two frog legs. It's like a regular Cinco, but they combined a worm with a frog. What in the world is this thing? I have no clue why this lure even exists, this worm frog contraption. I feel like there was an argument in the cream office. Somebody was like, no, we should make frogs. And then somebody else was like, no, we should make worms. Worms are better. And he's like, no, frogs are awesome because there's an awesome top water blow up and worms are just so lame. And then their boss was like, you know what? We're making a frog worm and this is what the result was I have no clue this thing is gonna catch fish it actually looks pretty juicy so we are gonna pond hop today and kind of see if we can catch fish on this crazy lure let me know if you guys enjoy me fishing with these crazy weird lures that you normally don't fish with by leaving a comment down below on the video but I'm gonna stop talking we're gonna go ahead and try this thing out uh, I'm excited and scared but let's go ahead and get started oh my guys We are out on the water at the pond with the worm frog. Look at this thing. Look at these legs. Look at these little flipper flappers. What is going on here? We got it on your standard Texas rig with the bullet weights and the three aught hook. And I have no clue if this is going to catch fish. I feel like we're going to be able to rip some though. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cast it really far out deep. I'm going to let it sink and I'm going to hop it like a trick worm or any Texas rig with a weight really. And the water gets really deep out there. So we're going to bring it up into shallow water and there's a ton of spotted grass and sand out there so dragging this thing in the sand around the spotted grass where those bass relate to hopefully the worm frog will be able to pick up a few bass i think we're going to be able to do it oh fish guys fish fish on the worm frog oh he's on it he's on it we're gonna set the hook he's barely on it let's go <laughs> we got him fish on the worm frog are you kidding me oh my gosh yes it is a super small fish, but, oh no, he came off. Get out. Oh my God. We lost him. Man down. Oh man. They don't want the worm frog. Even when I fish it over logs. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Oh, we got him. Okay, if we... No, he came off. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, he destroyed the worm frog. Stop blowing the audio and the video is going to be bad. Oh my gosh, the storm decides to roll in, but a bass just bit. So that is some good news. Got to grab another worm frog, rig it up ASAP, get in there. Round two. We're getting them this time. Worm frog rigged up. Oh my, it is so windy out here. What? What is this wind? What is this? Oh my, I'm about to fall over. She oh, I got one. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, he came off again. No, 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 no. How am I losing these fish? Am I just a goober? All right, get back in round three. Oh, it's such a juicy spot too. That you know they're gonna be there, but the wind is blowing so hard that I don't want my line to get stuck in the tree. Come on, eat the worm frog. Oh, fish, fish again. There we go, on the worm frog. <laughs> there we go, fish number one on the worm frog. I missed them three times and we finally landed them. Perfect hook set that time. Third time is the charm. Oh my gosh, beautiful fish. We're gonna let her go. The wind is blowing like crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but oh my goodness. All right, we gotta get back in there. There might be like a little school here. Where there is one bass, there is multiple bass. Where there is one bass that wants a worm frog, there are many bass that want a worm frog. Okay, the wind out here needs to stop and it needs to be over. It's not over till it's over. 
Oh, beautiful cast, beautiful, guaranteed fish right here, guys. Buckle your seat belts. Gosh, this is such a pain to cast in. This wind is insane. Calm down. It's literally about to start raining. Oh, fish, fish, yes. Another fish on the warm frog in the same spot practically. It's a smaller one. He was running like crazy. Oh my gosh. The worm frog is slaying. Look at the little dot on him. Do you guys know why these fish get like black dots? Let me know. Like I've seen a few bass like that before where they have like little dots on them and I've never known why. Leave a comment down below if you guys know what the heck that thing is. See ya, daddy. Come on. If we pull three fish out of here on the worm frog, I'm only fishing with worm frogs from now on. Did I really just snap off? Ah, I snapped off. We are going to relocate because I snapped off and I left all of my tackle in the car. So we're gonna go to the other side of the pond, which is just like right over there and see if we can't find some more bass. Well, it's raining now, but fishing with Norm does not stop fishing just because it rains. There's fish to be caught, but I did retie. We have a tungsten weight on here. This thing is super heavy, but it's the only one that I had in the truck. So who knows? <laughs> Who knows if this is gonna be good or not. It's also, I'm pretty sure this is Lojo's tungsten. I may or may not have stole it from him. Uh, so sorry, Lojo, but I might snap off your tungsten weight. And these are pretty pricey. Oh, I got a fish, I got a fish. I had one, guys. It literally bit it and it was gone. Oh, is he still on? Oh, I got him, I got him. There we go. First cast with the tungsten weight. <laughs> there we go, guys. Look at that, a little bit of a better one. Check that out in the pouring rain. At least it's not windy anymore, but it's rainy now. Look at that. What happens when a mama frog and a daddy worm wanna have some children right here? Look at, look at this. That's awesome, we're gonna go, oh, it's starting to come down like crazy. No, we're catching fish. Stop rain. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. This is the opposite of good. This would be bad. Um, you guys have some water droplets on the screen. I'm sorry about that. You think I'm leaving in the middle of a rainstorm? You're wrong. Wrong. It's the next day. I kind of gave up yesterday, but it is actually a beautiful day outside today. Not a single cloud in the sky, so we're not going to have to worry about rain. We are here at like a little river slash pond area that I've never fished before, and we're going to try using this but weightless. Yesterday we fished it with a weight, but I wanted to show you guys the frog worm without the weight and see if we can catch any fish on it that way. I don't even know if there's fish in here. Uh, but hopefully there's some big ones and I can try reeling them in on this worm frog. That'd be crazy. All right, so this is like the mouth of the river here. We got a little dock that looks pretty juicy. Ton of pine straw. Ton of pine straw in this pond. Like an unreal amount of pine straw. I think it's a little bit too deep here for the worm frog at the opening of this little creek. So we're going to move down to shallower water just because we don't have a bullet weight on here. So I don't think that we're reaching the fish. I'm pretty sure there's fish there. It's just I'm not able to catch them. So we're going to go a little bit shallower and try to look down here. Oh, fish, fish guys. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. How do I keep on losing them on this? Oh, oh. Snap, he hit it right at the shore on the worm frog, guys. The next day, it's catching all the dinks. Look at the colors on that fish. Super cold fish, that is awesome. Yes, all right. People are going ham in the background with the chainsaws. Like, calm down a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, that was a fish. Got him, guys, got him, fish number two. Is that a fish? Yeah, it is a fish. There we go. Oh my gosh. He was so small, I could barely even tell that it was a fish. But we got him on the frog worm. Are you kidding me? We've caught five fish in total on this thing. This is wild. That was so crazy. It barely even felt like a bite. These fish are super cold. Awesome colors on these bass this time of year. Oh, fish number, th oh my gosh. I had a third fish. I was no. <laughs> the chainsaw always goes off when I have a bite. I should have known. When the chainsaw goes off, get ready to have a bite. I've missed two fish here. This is crazy. On the worm frog. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. Feels like, oh, where'd he go? I want to catch a big one on this worm frog. And I've only fished this pond once. So I don't know if they're in here. And I just had a bite. There's one biting it right now. 
Golly, I lost some. I keep on, I think the fish are so small. Oh, I just had another hit. All right, bite it, eat it, eat it. He's got it. Oh, look at this, yeet. Oh, that's a, that's a good cast right there. Come on, there's gotta be a fish right there. Oh, there is. Got him, got him, guys. That feels like a better one. Oh, yes, there we go. A decent one. <laughs> yes, that's what we were looking for. I mean, obviously it would have been nice if this fish was bigger, but I am not complaining. His teeth are super sharp. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that fish was not coming off so we have a bigger one he's not a monster by any means but look at that we're upgrading that is a nice looking fish yes oh i'm so glad we caught this guy i've never been so excited to catch a one pounder before look at that sweet all right we're gonna let her go all right, folks, I think we're gonna end it there on that last bass, that decent bass. I know we did not catch any lunkers this episode, but it's crazy, we caught them on the worm frog. I wanna know down below, what is the craziest fishing lure you have used to catch any type of fish? Doesn't have to be a bass, I wanna know. I think the worm frog is up there for me. Even though we ended up, I think, catching six fish in total on this thing, it ended up being a great bass fishing lure. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to join the NARMY, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed and made it this far and i will see you guys in the next fishing adventure fish bump i'm out of here